In my experience as uh, the vice president of the board of the New Art Dealers Alliance, the way I've seen the fair evolve was generating a more kind of cohesive uh, vision or program for younger galleries. You know, uh, one of the newest features of the fair is the project booths. It can allow a younger gallery to instead pay $2,500 get a smaller scale booth but still kind of be integrated into the art fair and have same access to the audience coming through the fair. One of the most exciting things about this year was not only the surprises within some of these larger booths like some new artists that I'd never seen before but particularly the fact that there was surprises in the galleries that we saw, galleries that we'd never seen. is definitely outstanding. We have a new section called Art Projects, um, which is focused on idiosyncratic spaces that wouldn't necessarily be able to commit to a full-size booth, but we wanted them to have presence here at the fair. It's a new thing we incorporated this year, and I think that it, um, it's really been successful, and it's done what we wanted it to do. We're a nonprofit, member-based organization, and our membership is made up of young art professionals. You know, we do events all year. The fair is the biggest event that we do, and it's the one that everybody knows us for. YCOMS is uh, New York's oldest alternative art space. It was founded in 1970 by Jeffrey Liu and Gordon Matter Clark, and it was very much created as a context for artists by artists. And the idea was that the primary audience for the exhibitions were other artists. So over the years, 40 years, YCOM's mission is to support the work of emerging and under-supported artists. I'm a project-based artist. Uh, everything that I do is usually different. Um, I'm dealing with the same sort of ideas usually about individual agency, the body in a very visceral way, dealing with uh, the world, falling, the body falling apart, the body disintegrating, malfunctioning, um, its insides being revealed. Uh, I don't really ever do the same thing twice as far as materials, uh, but those ideas bleed through through everything. I think, you know, the Nada Fair over the years now has built up a reputation as being one of the most innovative, idiosyncratic art fairs in the United States. It's very much about a new generation of younger art dealers who are representing a new generation of younger artists. And I think one of the things that we're looking at in the selection process is to keep thinking about how to keep Nada fresh, how to keep it interesting. And we've been able to introduce a number of new innovative galleries. 